Hi, this is Calvin Smith coming to you again from Direct Force Fighting Techniques. And today I want to give you some tips on how to take items that you usually carry around with you and utilize them as weapons. Now most people when they think of weapons, they think of guns and knives, things of that, that nature. But we all pretty much walk around with weapons. The two that I want to point, you know, address today, one is the pen and the other is the cell phone. Now, people think of a cell phone, they look at it as a way of communicating and that's it. But the cell phone can actually be used as a pretty useful weapon. Case in point, you're on your cell phone, you're talking to someone, and you be a, you, you get approached. Now, yeah, you can use it to call 911 or whatever, but if it happens too fast, which in most cases, attacks happen at the drop of a dime, you have to react. Lose the fear and react. Now, there are certain parts of the body, if you can, you really want to use the cell phone to attack. Now, it's hard. It's made out of this hard plastic or whatever, and it can crack certain bones without a problem. If you are being grabbed and you can't get to a finger to bend it or to use your hand to punch, one area you might want to try to attack is the top of the, the back of the hand, which is, well, the top of the hand, which is this area right here. Now the bones in your fingers are very, very fragile. They're very thin and they're easy to break. So if you're being grabbed, what you do is take that cell phone and you slam it right at the back of their hand. I guarantee you they're gonna let go. Other area you wanna attack is anywhere in the face. The nose, the jaw, the teeth, the forehead, the bridge of the nose, the ears, the, the back of the jaw, even the neck. There's no certain pattern you have to follow or anything like that. Don't look at these techniques like, oh, they got to be precise, anything like that. Remember, you're fighting for your life. Just go berserk and start striking. Now, the other item that I want to focus on is the ink pen. Now, the ink pen, most people, eh, can't be done or whatever. Again, there are areas on the body that you can attack and you can escape. Now, during the winter, depending on where you live, most people are layered up. So, attacking and hitting someone with a jacket on is not going to do it. So, you try to hit as many exposed areas as possible. Again, good areas, ears anywhere in the face, the neck, um, like I said, anywhere in the face, particularly the eyes. If you can get to the eyes, that's a bonus. Also, what you'd want to do as well is if this is exposed, which is around the wrist area, if you can stab that with a pen, it is a bonus point. Hopefully, these tips will help you guys out there in the streets. I'm Calvin Smith, Direct Force Fighting Techniques. Looking forward to seeing you guys this weekend, May 18th, at Fowler Field Park in Douglasville, Georgia, 3270, 10 o'clock, 10 bucks, anti-abduction, defenses, and takedowns. Don't worry about being experienced. Keep coming to my classes. You'll be prepared to be a warrior. God bless. Walk in peace. Stay safe.